In this video, you will learn how to use Riverpod with Flutter once and for all. Let's start. First, we will set up Riverpod. Next, we will do an easy level with Riverpod. And after, we will do an hard level with Riverpod. This one will use a model because this is probably what you want to use Riverpod for. After this, we have two practical exercises to make sure that you really understand how to use Riverpod. You can find these practical exercises in the description of this video. Have fun. Let's start with the easy level. First thing first, we need to set up Riverpod. For this, you will need to go inside the popspec.yarm and you will need to add the Flutter Riverpod. After this, we will need to wrap the entire application with the provider scope. You can go inside the main.dart. Now we just need to wrap the entire my app with the provider scope. So I will paste my app and now we have access to Riverpod inside our entire application. The next step, if you go back inside the cheat sheet, you will see that it's to start the easy level. To start the easy level, you need to create a state provider to handle the data. And for this, you will need to create, for example, inside riverpod.dart, you will need to create a final called riverpod. For this one, we will call it the riverpod easy level, and we will use the state provider. The state provider will be the type int. In this case, we will just return zero, Let's go back inside the cheat sheet and now we need to use the consumer widget inside our application in order to see the data and edit the data. So I will go inside one file that I've created called the easy page dart. This one is very basic. We have a center widget. We have a text to do and two elevated button, one that will be used to add and one that will be used to remove numbers. Great. So at this point, how do we really use Riverpod? For this, you will need to change the stateless widget for the consumer widget. Now you can see that you have a problem with the build and the reason is we need to use the widget reference. And this is required because we have the consumer widget. So we'll just say widget ref and now we will call it just ref. We can now access the information from the Riverpod data. Now that we have the reference, we can use it and get the data from the Riverpod information. So I will go inside the text and I will replace the to do with the reference. And then I will say dot, and you have two options. You can either read the reference or you can either watch the reference. But what is the difference? If you go right there, you see that we have a little note. The goal of the watch is to listen to the change. For example, if the text changed behind the scene, and instead of being one, it's now two, we want to update this and show it visually. So this will listen to the change. But the read will be different. It don't listen to the changes. Instead, it's used to edit the value. For example, when the user clicked the button add, we want to edit the value to put plus one or minus one. So this will be when you use the read. This is to edit the value. So let's go back inside the easy page. And now we wonder, do we need to put the watch or the read? Again, the watch is to listen to the change and the read is to edit the change. Right now we are inside the text widget and we want to listen to the change. So we will use the watch. And if you don't know what to put after that, you can go inside the cheat sheet and you will see that we need to write something like this. We need to use ref.watch and put the riverpod data that we have created. So we will say riverpod easy data. Riverpod easy data. If you remember, the riverpod easy data was a state provider with an int and the default value was zero. So we can't put the int inside the text. So we need to say dot to string. So now you can see that we have the default value zero, but how do we add numbers or remove numbers? For this, we will go inside the elevated button. We will again use the reference and then we will say dot read because this time we want to edit the data instead of just watching for the data to change. In this case, we will put the riverpod easy data again, but because we want to change the data, we need to say dot notifier dot state. And if you're not sure, you can just go back inside the cheat sheet and you see reference that read riverpod notifier and state. Now, what do we do with the state? We want to go and add a number. So we'll say plus one, and that's about it. If we save, you will see that when I click on add, we see the changes, but the remove button doesn't work yet. So we'll do the same thing. I will copy and paste this inside. And instead we will remove one. Then you will see that the counter now work on both buttons. Okay, so this was the easy level, pretty basic stuff. But most often you will need to use models inside your application. And this is what I will show you. We will do the R level right now. 
So first we need to use the change native power provider. For this, what we'll do is we'll go inside the riverpod.dart and instead of using the riverpod easy level data, we will use the riverpod hard level data. And this one will be the change notifier provider. With the type, instead of using the int, we will use a model, so the riverpod model. And it will return, instead of zero, it will return the model that we want. So we will go inside the model just to show you we have the class riverpod model that extend the change notifier. If you go back inside the cheat sheet, you will see that the next step was to use the change notifier. Great, so we use it with our class, with our model. Inside, we will just put an int counter because this will be pretty much the same thing. And we can create a constructor. The constructor will require a counter, so a default value when we use it. After this, we create two functions, one called the add counter and one called the remove counter. Each of them will change the number of counters. So this one will be plus one and this one minus one. After this, you need to make sure to use the notifier listener in order to make sure that the application understand that we have changed the value and we want to update the value visually. If you go back inside the cheat sheet, you see that the next step was to add the notifier listener. Now we need to use the consumer widget like we did with the easy level. So we will go inside the main and we will replace the easy level with the art page like this. We can now go inside the art page and we can set up the stuff. Instead of using the stateless widget, we will use the consumer widget. And in the build, if you remember, you need to add the widget reference. This one will just be called ref. Next, we need to go inside the text and we need to use the ref dot. If you remember, in this case, we will need to use the watch because we want to watch the value update visually. So we'll say watch. And we will put the river pod hard level this time. And you can see that inside we have the change notifier with the river pod model inside. So we need to use this as a model. So we can just use the value counter. Because this is an int, we'll need to say also dot to string. Great. So if we save, you will see that this is the default value zero. Next, we need to edit this information. So we'll go inside the cheat sheet. And instead of using the watch, this time we will use the read. So we will put the river pod inside and we will change the data. This is just an example to change a name, but in this case, we will change the counter. So we can go back inside the art page and we will use the reference dot read. Inside, we will put the river pod art level and we will say dot add counter and we put the semicolon. We will do the same thing for the remove, but we will say remove counter. And if you save, you will see that. If you add or remove, this will work. But in this case, we use Riverpod with a model, which is way better. Okay, so now if you want to practice by yourself, I have two practical exercises that you can find in the description of this video, an easy and an hard level. You can like or dislike the video. Have fun. Bye.